Hello everyone, I'm Katie Lopez with your latest news update. Today, Governor John Bell Edwards will hold a briefing on the state's response to the pandemic. It begins at 2.30 and you can watch it here on KATC or stream it on KATC.com. The St. Mary Parish School Board will offer help to parents who choose virtual learning for their children. The district will show parents of elementary school students the lessons and routines that their children will follow and the platforms that they're going to use. The service will be available to high school parents on Wednesday and Friday and to middle school parents on Thursday. Parents who follow the overview courses will be given until August 19th to make changes to their selection of online learning. Here's a look at how many students will be learning virtually this fall. In districts that offered virtual learning as an option, on average, about 27% of students opted in. About 40% of students in St. Martin Parish will learn virtually this year. Second only to St. Landry Parish, where virtual learning is the only option. The full look at the numbers is on KTC.com. The deadline for an absentee ballot for Saturday's general election in Acadiana is 4.30 this afternoon. Propositions in Acadia, Iberia, Jeff Davis, St. Landry, St. Martin, and St. Mary Parishes will be on the ballots. While most of the items are tax renewals, some St. Landry and Acadia Parish residents will consider new millages. In Lafayette today, Hospice of Acadiana is giving healthcare workers a chance to talk about difficult issues that they might be facing. There will be two virtual meetings with two sessions available, one starting at 9 a.m. and the other at 8 p.m. Some of the topics being discussed are compassion, burnout, and secondary trauma. For more information, you can contact the number or email address that you see on your screen. Happening tomorrow, the Louisiana uh, Workforce Commission will be hosting a virtual job fair. It's happening from 9 a.m. until 1, and we have information on our website, katc.com, on how to register. Let's take a quick look at that forecast now. 94 degrees for that high today. It's mostly sunny skies all the way through the majority of the day with a scattering of showers and a few thunderstorms out there later on in the evening tonight. 76 degrees. Everything kind of comes to an end overnight and then a pretty typical pattern heading into tomorrow. 40 to 50% rain chances rolling through the back half of the week and on into the weekend. 94 for the high, 76 for that overnight low.